everyone and welcome. It's Keeper MC and we continue our exploration on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, tsubitsuti.org. And in the previous episode we managed to find a skeleton spawner and I spent eternity trying to get those uh, bones and of course the experience. Uh, as a result we have some unnecessarily items uh, also including some arrows, uh, iron nugget, well the bucket and some sticks because that's something I really have no idea how to fit in my pockets and uh, for now I would say we're good to go so just in case I managed also to save the coordinates in case if suddenly we will have an urge to refill our uh, arrow let's say uh, stock but of course who knows uh, how far are we going to be away from this place so it could be that we will never come back hey yo buddy hey yo buddy one shot one kill nice yeah so together with the start of <laughs> And you're coming with me. Two shots. Hell yeah. And look at that. We got a potion. <sighs> potion of swiftness. Mm hmm. Speed. Oh, alright, so very nice that we are having some lava here because we don't need this at the moment and well I what else is that we don't need we need to free up one slot more <sighs> hmm. uh, so difficult to decide every time but I think this time it will be netherrack Oh, they actually laid down in the right sequence. That's nice. Okay, so, alright, let's go. And see how far this land is going to go, or it will be just another ocean in a moment. Another beautiful day, another huge ocean, right? But who knows, maybe we'll find a village quite soon. Yeah, strange, but the chunks are starting to load really slow. Wait, is it a portal? Yep, <laughs> underwater portal, but okay. And I wonder if this is my like internet connection or like the server itself. Well, probably not, but I don't know. I wouldn't say that I'm annoyed because I mean I'm getting used to the lags. I've been like experiencing them always due to some hardware and networking issues so it's fine by me absolutely but of course it's not very cool when you're on the other side of the screen okay but since we are changing the <coughs> direction we are actually moving slowly away from this main like uh, channel of ocean because if you have seen the 2b2 team ups 
uh, maps, I mean those like going for the 50k away from the spawn. Uh, then of course you have noticed that uh, usually the ocean is like uh, having a pattern of a highway, so some older players like in older years prob- oh no 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 no, we will glitch out. Okay good. Uh, these oceans were mostly like generated when players were actually traveling away from spawn so in most of the cases these are just straight lines of ocean and of course I hope that by changing the direction we will reduce this pattern and uh, we'll play on the chunks which were not generated that far away like that back in the days in the past but yeah that's just a theory I <laughs> cannot say that I know a lot about the history of this server yet and of course not much about the generation of the chunks uh, in a different versions and conflicts and stuff so yeah would you look at that lots of free food no space okay let's capture it so it won't disappear and then we'll decide what to do with it it is total nine steaks of raw beef it's not bad should we try to replace it hmm I don't know really okay we definitely need to burn something because we wouldn't be able to carry. All right, let's get rid of the wood. And continue. So probably somebody was also traveling and trying to um, accumulate some leather for them books but by some reason they decided not to take the beef itself that's interesting but we take it not letting it to go to waste interesting out there nope, doesn't seem so just annoying lily pads well they are less annoying than originally they were at least they do not break your boat anymore but still a bit annoying that they are actually breaking each time and and laying around. It would be cool if actually boat could just pass through it, but maybe slower, similarly as a spider web. But who knows, maybe that's something that will appear in the newer versions of Minecraft. Alright, and we have a heavy forest in front of us. Okay, let's just go travel through it. how soon we will be able to actually find a mansion which is not yet griefed probably not that soon because yeah people with hacks travel much faster and navigate much better than we do <laughs> especially me but who knows I'm looking forward to it in any case 
Oof, starting to lag seriously. Could be the mansion which is on fire actually. Wait, what? How did the pig die? Are they just suffocating inside of the trees? Yep, probably. <laughs> um, interesting. And we have another piece of meat we cannot take with us. Amazing. That's something I don't like because that's annoying. Um, hmm. well, I think in that case the only thing we can do is just put it on fire. And then let's see what was the reason for this big lag. Could be actually that the new chunks just generated, but it seemed to be too much of a lag on, to be honest. And I do not see anything major up in here. <laughs> in any case, we keep going. actually need to think about the food because we have some raw beef but we need to cook it and we don't have a stone like cobblestone or furnace so we need to empty space for those first I think or we need to craft the soup so maybe we can get rid of those tree slots eventually but then we need a crafting table so we need a space for, for it and for wood beforehand, but I don't really want to. And it actually seems that uh, we might be generating the new chunks because they actually load really slow up approximately up until the moment when I actually enter them. So that's that's interesting. It could be that we will actually find something not touched yet. As you can see those chunks like appear in front of me. And it could be the reason why those pigs suffocated, because they just just spawned and then suddenly the trees loaded over. Well that's, well that's nice, because it means we will see less player activity and more things untouched. So we are starting to get hungry. So we probably need to do a stop somewhere. Nope. Um, hmm. All right, I see a small tree. So I think we can take it make sure to cook everything we need, replant the tree and then leave for good. Sounds like a plan, so let's get started. Hope we'll get some saplings because yeah, might not be the case actually. So 
let's make one soup. More soup. And even more soup. Nice. Okay, so we have either wood, either axe. Okay, but let's focus on the saplings first because we need to replant the tree. Okay, we got one. Nice. Perfect. And then the only question is what to do with the raw beef. Well, I think we can just take out the exactly eight pieces of cobblestone and that's why I'm taking seven and then just make a furnace and use well, let's just actually use those things first, the bolts. Because they burn really quickly, but still get some of the job done. And then we can put the spruce wood. So in that case we'll get rid of some items we don't need. continue our journey. So the only trouble for now is that the rain has started. It's just a little bit annoying. And actually we can put the crafting table as well. some good food on the way. That's nice. And, well, I think I will... Oops. Oh no, sorry, I forgot to put them back. Uh, in any case, yeah, I think this could be it for now. I will wait for them stakes to be done. Uh, double check the coordinates and we'll head up up until the rain will stop. And with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you back in the next episode. Bye bye everyone.